Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, we're looking at a beautiful weekend, mid to upper 40s, dry. Not much more to say. We will take it, Candy, right? We will. No complaints coming out of my mouth. Now, just to show you how bizarre our relationship is, uh, Candy and I, uh, off the air, so I texted you pictures of the bathroom piece I put together we talked about in the 7 o'clock hour, and we will get into that. But off the air, um, we were Candy says... We were fantasizing. Yeah, why, why don't you come over and build something for me? And I said, could you imagine? Brian walks into the house, and there's Fathead on the living room floor, shirtless, putting... <laughs> putting together i don't, I don't know the, why the shirtless makes I, me laugh it's funny it makes it fun oh. so yeah there i am putting your bathroom set together and he oh my and dana's what? in the kitchen making me chicken cutlets <laughs> yes now we're talking uh, so what do you think? What do you think of the pictures? There? I think it's adorable. I think you did an excellent job. I love the color of the walls. It's a very cute half bath. Yes, it is a half bath. It's a very small, cute. small half bath. Well, um, you only go in there to, you know, you half go. That's all. That, <laughs> you like my uh, the little barn sliding door up top? I love top? the little barn sliding door. That is yeah. so cute. I, you got to ask Dana where she got that and tell me. Yes, I will find out where she ordered it from. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and then you see the the puzzle of Leah when she was a baby hanging above, right? Now, do the kids ever say, and I'm talking about Elijah and Abigail, hmm. are there any pictures of me in this house? Yeah, there's plenty of pictures of the two of them somewhere. Do they ever say, how come there's more pictures of Leah than there is of us? <laughs> they don't say it. It'll probably just come out in their actions when they're 30 years old, you know? I see, I see. Uh, okay. Yeah, but no, they don't mm -hmm. say anything. They're going to harbor those feelings for a long time. And then. Just, a, you know, just yeah. a thought. I don't know what else to say. I understand. I, I can appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'll bring it up to them one day and uh, see how that goes. Does it bother you that <laughs> Leah's all over the house and you're nowhere to be found? Uh, uh, sorry, I, I, don't have, I don't have a comment for that other than there are pictures of them in the house, but yes. Our firstborn. There's more pictures of our firstborn because we were, we were taking a lot of pictures and printing a lot of pictures uh, at that point. As oh, you, you can were imagine. taking a lot of pictures. Yes, I can attest to that. I don't think I've ever seen more pictures of yes. one baby. We did take a lot Leah. of pictures. You're right. And it would be the same picture like 25 times. Yes, I, it's a lot of, yeah. a lot of pictures we took yeah. back yeah. then, Candy. Yeah. Uh, it is. A bunch of interesting national days today. Vietnam Peace Day, uh, the day that we uh, uh, were left, uh, the commemorates the signing of the Paris Peace Accord, where we left the Vietnam War uh, back in the day. So I'll hold my tongue. We never should have been there. Oh, I couldn't yeah, hold my well, tongue. Well, that's a lot of, you know, yes. And the veterans who came back were completely abandoned, Candy. Um, Horrible. Horribly. Horrible. It was a civil war we had no business being in. Just, didn't win, and a lot of lives were lost. And really, a lot of people, I can get and angry a, all over again. And a lot of people still suffering. Uh, you know, uh, who very were in the Vietnam so. War, and very yeah. much so. Horrible. I know um, uh, one of, and I don't want to get too specific because I don't know the full story, but I think one of my mother-in-law's brothers, who was in Vietnam, ended up. Uh, you know, having a drug issue and some other thing. It was terrible. It was just a terrible, terrible thing all around, Candy. And uh, yeah, yeah, horrible. But we remember, uh, you know, all, all those uh, veterans and everyone who still suffers today. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. With that in mind, it is also Holocaust Remembrance Day today. Oh, you're Same day. From the bad to worse. Uh, you're I, killing me over here. Incredible. You got any good news? Any good uh, well, news listen, over there? I, we have to we have to remember those Never lost. Never forget. I wholeheartedly in, agree. In the Holocaust, absolutely. But you have to bring me down on a All right, I'm going to give you a good one. Ready? Ready. It's World Breast Pumping Day today. Hey, I could have been a champion. And let me say I could it. have been a champion. Thank <laughs> you. A, <laughs> to all These the <laughs> were working breasts, okay? <laughs> to all the women out there, um, you know, it's not easy to pump. It is not. It is tough work. Oh. So, yes, to everyone dealing with that, it is yes. World Breast Pumping yes. Day. 
It's National Big Wig Day. You're supposed to like flaunt your style and go oh, put on I a big you're wig. Get, get a big wig. One you you could. Days, I probably will be having and wearing a wig. <laughs> One day. Let's not talk about that, shall we? It's National Fun at Work Day today. I do have fun at work. Yeah, we always do. And last one, it is National Chocolate Cake Day. Is there anything wrong with a piece of chocolate cake? Nothing. Nothing now, at all. Now, your mother's birthday, yeah. what's her favorite cake? Is oh, she boy. a cake lover? Well, n- okay. Not that this is her favorite. I'm not sure. But she used to make um, a banana uh, like um, like banana muffins, banana with chocolate chips in them. Yes, I used to make those for my kids too. And Yum. I I don't love banana, but I love those muffins. Just and with the chocolate chips, great. they're sort of still melted when you eat the. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, so good. Um, oh my god, but I can taste what it you right like. now. What does yeah. she like? Uh, well, no, well, she used to make it all the time, so I figure maybe she liked it. I don't know. Um, I'll have to find out and report you back will. to you. You will. I don't know. Like, you know, I know Casey's birthday coming up, right? Casey's birthday's the yes. 7th. Mm-hmm. Two Aquarians, we know. Mm-hmm. He loves tiramisu. So I think if I do anything tomorrow, I'll be bringing, like, a tiramisu. Uh, dessert. You mean, so you mean tiramisu? Tiramisu, yes. I love when you mispronounce stuff. <laughs> and by the way, my father, to your credit, my father yesterday said he didn't think you were mispronouncing cauliflower. Uh, he's my champion. Yeah, yeah, very much tiramisu. so. Tiramisu, tiramisu. Uh, I may bring, Dana loves tiramisu. Casey's favorite. It's very good. Um, it is. I may bring a pad and pen to my parents tomorrow. And just start asking them questions to get uh, some show fodder, you know? Um, Listen, there were years, and I do mean years, where we had segments on your parents. Yes. They were so entertaining with the inside shoes, the outside shoes. They didn't sleep over at your house. They slept at your sister's (laughs) house. They come with sandwiches, but only enough for themselves. Um, It was, they were some of the funniest stories ever. Yeah, they have not been to my house. And by the way, this is not, I'm not, truly, I have to put this, I'm not saying this to make anybody feel bad. I'm not, so because I understand with COVID and everything. Right, and, it's and, been rough. Right, and and you know what? It's up to, it's a, my, me and my family, we're younger, we can, it's better for us to drive out there than for them I to come all the way out agree, here. I agree, okay? there were years yes. that we really had some good stuff good yes. material from your mother and your father prior to covid they uh would come out here and they would come to stay for a day right. and unpack the car like they were staying for a month <laughs> they'd have like seven bags one of them filled with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for themselves uh yes indoor shoes outdoor shoes a lot of different i used to say you don't things. have peanut butter and jelly in your house that you mm. could make them a sandwich they have to bring their own Yes, I know. They were quite, quite they, humorous. They'd bring they their own jugs. They were funny, but we enjoyed them. Oh, they knew they were funny. Yeah, um, we enjoyed they'd bring it. their own jugs of coffee. Right. Um, my father, the best part, my father would bring a Hershey bar with almonds, of course. And share it with you, which really, it makes yes. my heart swell every time. Leave me half, yeah. Unbelievably adorable. That was our At, thing. Like, the big thing was is they would have these shoes for inside and outside. Yes. But they didn't leave them at your house. They left them at your other sister's house, so when they come, they would have their shoes right there. But not yours. Yeah, they had indoor shoes on standby, literally in a closet somewhere at both my sister's houses. Yours Uh, they would take with them when they left, as if to say, we don't know if we're coming back here. Yes, I mean, you combine that with the fact that I got lost in Macy's as a child. <laughs> Not that. And they, when, when I'd go to Barney's to get my suit, they'd take me the down to the basement. Department. The husky section. That's right, the husky section in the basement of Barney's. They were right. hiding me away. I mean, there's a lot of inside struggle I have here, Candy. A lot of it. I see that. All right. Let's all now pray for Elijah. Yes, he'll be fine. <laughs> He uh, marches to the beat of his own drummer, yeah. And that's what I love about him most. A man from Ireland lost a friend to suicide a few years ago, so he's raising awareness for prevention by hitchhiking from Ireland to Australia with no money. 
He says, "How do you the, do that?" Well, the point was to pick something that was so out there and ridiculous, people might not believe it's possible. He's relying on human kindness to show, uh, even when odds are against you. Uh, he's also raising money along the way and says he expects the trip to take a year and a half. He started from Ireland on January 14th. He is now in Italy, and he's trying to make his way. So how do you make your way to Australia? You, at it, some point, don't you need to get on a plane? Yeah, he'll have Well, I'm, listen, if this story takes off, I, there'll be an airline that'll, that'll do it for the publicity. As soon as you find out, tell me how he hitches a flight to Australia. I'm telling you, the, as soon as this story starts to gain some steam... Either a couple of good Samaritans will donate the flight or an airline will get involved for the PR and they will put them on a plane. Absolutely, it's going to happen. I have no I doubt. Know a, I know a woman whose son married an Australian girl. They had the wedding in Australia. And uh, for the family to get there was several thousand dollars. Just sure. the flight. Just the sure. flight. Sure. I believe it. Uh, Candy, um, can you still remember people's birthdays without Facebook? I don't do Facebook. All right. A 73-year-old man in Montana estimates he knows around 3,000 birthdays by heart. I there's some. I have that, that talent. I hmm. remember pretty much everybody I know's birthday. I remember kids I went to school with, their birthday, that I don't even talk to anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a video of a boy named Zach asking a girl named Taylor to the prom. She said yes. It's a very sweet video. Both kids have special needs, and very. she was so excited to go. So cute. And uh, an unlucky, quote-unquote, rescue dog in North Carolina named Ronald went through 14 failed adoptions before finally finding his forever home, Candy. Oh, I did read about this, and he found a good one. Yeah. And before we go, and I know we got to get out of here, I had two random facts I thought were so interesting that I wrote down and we didn't get to. Um, one of them is that, do you know the movie National Lampoon's Vacation with Chevy Chase, the original, yes. right? Yes. Is the best one, in my opinion. Oh, it's amazing. Credited credited with killing the station wagon because of the, the station wagon is a main character in that film it sure is and right after that movie the station wagon plummeted in sales and the minivan took off oh so the, yeah and uh your second one for you you know baskin robbins was almost called robbins baskin because the two guys with those last names were brother-in-laws and they flipped a coin to see which name would go first. I can't imagine it the other way. I know. Well, your mind is now blown, okay? Yes. yes. Have a great weekend. Pictures will follow. I'll catch yep. up on all things Maeve. We will Please reconvene. Please kiss your mother for me a very happy birthday. You kiss your mother with could, that mouth. You kiss that mother with your <laughs> mouth. I, if I could take her dental pain away, I would. Sometimes all right. I long... You know, we were talking about what do you want to do for a career? I want to be bewitched. Uh-huh. I uh -huh. want to wiggle my nose and get what I want. Of course. Well, don't we all? I know. All right, calm down, okay? Relax all yourself. Right. All right. Uh, Candy, thanks to Ryan and Amanda, our great producers. Ryan hosting our mixtape Saturday Night Dance Party this Saturday, 8 to 11 p.m. Always a good time. Uh, enjoy. Have a great one. We will reconvene Monday. Let's hit the roads. Weather looks good. All right, we hit the roads now. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.